Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem from Pathfinder Check Your Understanding and this is from the rotation chapter. So let's read the problem statement. Uh, we have three identical light rods that are rigidly connected to the frame. At the free ends of each rod, identical particles, identical particle like balls each of mass m are affixed and the junction is so pivoted that the frame can rotate without friction in a vertical plane containing the frame. Now the frame is tilted to an angle of 37 degrees and then released. So then we have to find the magnitude of the force exerted by the middle rod on the ball and the angle made by this force vector with the middle rod immediately after the frame is released. So immediately after the structure is released, the rod does not have any angular velocity, but it will certainly have some angular acceleration. So let's try to find that. So the rods are massless, they're very light and the these three masses are placed symmetrically right so if i consider this as a triangle then the center of mass of these three particle system will lie at the centroid of this triangle which is at a distance of l by 3 from point 2 so we can consider the center of mass of the system to be over here so a force of 3 mg will act on the center of mass and this distance is l by 3 so if i want to write the torque about point 0 let's say this distance is x so the torque about point O will be mg x if we talk about the magnitude. So that will be in the clockwise direction and this will be equal to 3 mg multiplied by x is going to be L by 3 sine 37 and this comes out to be 3 mg L divided by 5. The torque about point O which is 3 mg L by 5 we can write it as the moment of inertia of the system about point O which is simply 3 ml squared because the rods are massless and each of these masses are at a distance L from the point O times the alpha of the structure about O. From here we'll get the angular acceleration of the system to be g divided by 5L. Okay, now if you want to write the tangential acceleration of this ball, it's going to be, so this ball is at a distance of uh, L from the point O, so the tangential acceleration is going to be L alpha and that is g divided by 5. Now if I try to draw an FPD of this ball, its weight mg will act downwards. This is the direction of the rod. Okay, so and this angle it makes with the axis of the rod is going to be 37, is 37. So the weight in, so the component of weight in this direction is going to be mg sine 37, which is 3 mg by 5. And the component of weight in this direction is 4 mg by now the rod will apply a force of let's say n1 in this direction and let's say it applies a force of n2 in this direction on the ball. So now clearly as this does not have, uh, the rod does not have any angular velocity. So which means the centripetal acceleration of this ball is zero. So which means I can write n1 equals 4mg by 5. And secondly, we know the tangential acceleration to be g by 5. So I can write 3 mg by 5 minus n2 equal to mg by 5 and from here we'll get the value of n2 to be 2 mg by 5. So the net force applied on the ball is going to be the resultant of these two forces. Okay and let's say it is f. So the angle alpha it makes with the rod tan alpha equals n2 upon n1 which, which will come out to be half. So the angle alpha it makes with the rod is tan inverse of half. And the magnitude of force F as n1 and n2 are perpendicular to each other will be simply n1 squared plus n2 squared. And this will come out to be, so this will be 20 upon 25 m squared g squared and m squared is 5, g squared is 100. So this would be 20 newton. So the magnitude of the force is going to be 20 newton and the angle it makes with the rod is going to be tan inverse of half. If you have any doubts with any other problems, you can comment down below. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.